Good morning from the heart, our morning daily devotional. The reading for today is entitled, The Need for More Trust, September 15th. Come every soul by sin oppressed, there's mercy with the Lord, and He will surely give you rest by trusting in His Word. Only trust Him, only trust Him, only trust him now. He will save you. He will save you. He will save you now. Judges 6 verse 40. And God did so that night, for it was dry upon the fleece only, and there was dew on all the ground. Gideon deeply felt his own insufficiency for the great work before him. He dared not place himself at the head of the army without positive evidence that God had called him to this work and that he would be with him. He prayed, If thou wilt save Israel by mine hand, as thou hast said, Behold, I will put a fleece of wool in the floor. And if the dew be on the fleece only, and it be dry upon all the earth beside, then shall I know that thou wilt save Israel by mine hand, as thou hast said. The Lord granted the prayer of his servant. In the morning the fleece was wet, while the ground was dry. But now unbelief suggested that wool naturally absorbs moisture when there is any in the air, and that the test was not decisive. Hence, he asked a renewal of the sign, humbly pleading that unbelief might not move the Lord to anger. His request was granted. The Lord does not always choose for his work people of the greatest talents, but he selects those whom he can best use. God will accept the services of all who will work in obedience to his will, who will not for any consideration bring a stain upon the conscience, who will not permit any influence to lead them from the path of duty. If we choose, we may make the record of our lives such as we shall not be ashamed to own when the secrets of all hearts shall stand revealed and everyone's work shall be weighed in the balances of truth. The Lord employs men and women as his co-laborers, but let none imagine that they are essential to the work of God, that they cannot be dispensed with. The teachable and trusting ones, having a right purpose and a pure heart, need not wait for great occasions or for extraordinary abilities before they employ their powers. They should not stand irresolute, questioning, and fearing what the world will say or think of them. We are not to weary ourselves with anxious care, but to go on, quietly performing with faithfulness the work which God assigns us, and leaving the result wholly with Him. Let the daily life be a reflection of the life of Christ, and the testimony thus borne to the world will have a powerful influence. The great contest of truth against error must be carried forward by men and women who kindle their taper at the divine altar. Thank you for listening. Shalom.